I still have things to do. A lot of things to do. But I've come so far that I can start installing my stuff again. My computer, my sound cards, my screens and so on. And when it comes to building a home studio, there's a lot of things to think about, of course. And a lot of things that you need to prioritize how you want it, how you want to work. And for me, convenience is my first priority. Sound, yes, of course, I've done some sound treatments. I will tell you in a little bit. But convenience is the most important thing because I want it to be simple to work. I want it to be easy to start working. I want everything connected or as much as possible connected. So there's a power on and then I can start working. Therefore, I built a desk. So my new studio desk is here. Well, it's on wheels. I like that. Why? Because if I need to reconnect anything, I can just pull it out uh, and go and reconnect on the back side. And also to clean on the back side because power cords and other cables will just collect dust. I have a shelf with my USB keyboard. This is the Roland A800 Pro. Really good keyboard. So this rack in the corner is going to be my input. This is a patch bay, basically. I want it in the corner so because there's going to be cabling on the floor. And I want that to be off where I'm working. So I have some XLR inputs. I have a few mic preamps, a couple of compressors. And they, this is where I'm going to connect everything from the rest of the room or maybe the rest of the apartment. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to make cabling to other parts of the apartment. Anyway, this will go into this rack on the back side where I will have my sound cards. They're not here now. I have a couple of UAD Apollos. And I have a couple of UAD satellites, a ferrofish, which is just an AD converter, converter and uh, AD and DA convert, converter, I should say. And also one other mic preamp. And why this is here is because I use the ADAT digital out of it, so I need it to be close to my other sound cards. But this will still be patched from here. And then a couple of drawers, uh, just guitar picks, small hard, hard drives, SD cards for the camera, things like that. So I have them close to where I'm working. On these shelves, I'm going to have my speakers. And I hope this will work. I've tried to make them sturdy. Uh, my speakers, the Focal Shape Twin, they are made to be rather close to the wall. Other speakers may not, but they should be able to handle the close to be close to the walls. So I hope this will work. Otherwise, I'll have to find another solution with stands or anything. Uh, um, this is just a camera stand, so when I'm making YouTube videos, I can just put my camera and start recording. And I also have a light for video, which I can just turn on like that. Convenience. Keyboards, an 88 key here, and then my Nord Electro on the top. The Nord Electro is always going to be there. What keyboard is here will probably change over time. Uh, I use different keyboards, a Nord Stage, a Yamaha CP88, Yamaha Montage, and so on. Don't know. Just that I need, I want some 88 weighted keys. This is my organ B3 uh, sound when I'm in the studio. Uh, and on top, just a shelf with storage. I hope you excuse the mess. I am not finished yet and I'm still trying things out. On the, in the back of the room, I have some shelves where I put some lights also. So it hopefully it looks good on YouTube. Let's see. Uh, one of the shelf is my guitar shelf. I have guitar pedals, guitar amplifier, and a Line 6 Helix down there, and also a speaker cabinet, mic'd already, of course. 
Uh, I also have a couple of other amplifiers down in my cellar if I wanted to bring them up. I got a, a orange uh, fender that I really like and so on. On the back there's shelves with percussion, things like that. My violins is gonna live they are gonna live on the top shelf. And my guitars are in the corner. Can you see them? Uh, my acoustic guitars, I have more. <laughs> I have more guitars, but these are the ones that I picked to be in the studio. Uh, acoustic guitars there and some uh, electric guitars and electric basses downstairs. I have a couple more in my living room right now. That's gonna, they are gonna live there. Uh, this, of course, I will move. This is gonna go to my attic storage. Um, I don't need it, but I need help to take it out of here. So I can't do that alone. On this shelf right now, there's a lot of tools. Um, but I have my printers down there. So if I need to print some sheet music or something, they are already set up, ready to go. And so this is gonna be sort of my office shelf because I need an office shelf. And because I want to use the space as much as possible, I put these small drawers up in the corner above my input rack. These things are filled with uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, we have um, electric guitar strings. We have screws and bolts for camera equipment. Uh, we have um, guitar picks. How about how about sound treatment? Well, in the back of the room, I have made some panels uh, and put them there so I don't get so much reflections from the back wall. I also angled a couple of uh, panels to act more like a bass trap. It's not a good bass trap. It isn't. You need a lot of more. You you need a lot of mass to make a bass trap. But it it they will go a little bit lower in frequency treatment than the the panels that are flat on the wall. And then I have a couple of panels on the front and I made a really big cloud that I hope will take care of a lot. That's out of the way. That's, I don't, it doesn't interfere with any other space. Remember the roof if you're going to do treatment because that will, that will not take up space from other things. So if you treat the roof, half of your work is done. Uh, well, yeah, you know what I mean. Remember the roof. I'm, I'm also gonna have a carpet on the floor. I haven't treated the sides of the room. And that is because I don't want one side to be more treated than the other side. I had a studio that were like that and I couldn't work in it where one side had more treatment than the other. And I felt just, it just felt weird. And on one side I have a door which I really can't treat or don't want to treat. So I will try it out first. Maybe I have to do something on the sides. But for now I just go with it and try it out. How much sound treatment do you need in a home studio? Well, a little is better than nothing. That's a fact. But I don't want a dead room. I hate working in a dead room. I want a controlled room, of course, but not a dead room. It's impossible to work and I can't sit the, the long hours I sit in my studio writing, composing, arranging, mixing, recording. I can't do that in a dead room. It's horrible. Well, there you have my home studio planning set up how I think when I'm building my home studio. If you want to see it finished, you could you could subscribe. Then maybe 
I will show you later on. Home in Swedish is hem. Hem. Well, I have to eat and then I, I'm gonna continue cleaning this up so I can install things. Roger that.